Following the success of our first Lara Croft collectible, Queen of the Jungle, which our fans seem to enjoy very much, we were again approached by Crystal Dynamics to create our second premium Tomb Raider collectible, which was very cool. We got to thinking about what we could create that would excite the fans and provide them with the nostalgia of playing that iconic game many years ago. Right at the beginning, we were presented with three quick sort of sketches, like little digital paintings that one of our designers, Gus, had done. And we all got to vote on which one we would like to see developed further. And the one we ended up with was by far the most dynamic and exciting piece. The design that we did choose depicts the scene in the level titled The Lost Valley, which is considered one of the most memorable levels in gaming history due to the T-Rex and the Raptors. Then you're, you did a 3D digital pass on it, and then we had a workshop with Richard coming up with a more dynamic pose. With this piece, we felt we really wanted to up the dynamic of Lara and put her into an incredibly energized, heroic pose. We definitely were looking for something which had had a certain amount of gravity and you know what better can you do with than a couple of velociraptors and Lara way on top of them meaning we've got a statue that's going to be this high and we were thought are we absolutely mad are we crazy as it turns out yeah but the end result was awesome yeah I was really excited to work on this statue I did a few little sketches with wire and plasticine and then I moved into the digital domain we got the original assets from Crystal Dynamics of Lara Croft. It still had a bit of a game feel, but we wanted to add a, a lot more realism. So we did a photo shoot with a few models, which really helped. Lara is only held up by one key going into one of the dinosaurs. So the distribution of weight was a challenge from an engineering perspective. We have one character cantilevered off another character, which is cantilevered off the base. So it's kind of this double cantilever and, uh, you know, physics. So we have to figure out how to key it and stabilize it so that when you put it together, it maintains the dynamic look that was intended with the original sculpture, but it doesn't fall over. So what happens is I get the sculpture from Gary and it's my job to take it apart and figure out what all the components are gonna be so that when they're printed in the real world, you can actually fit them together and they work. In the paint shop, we receive bits and pieces. So Lara Croft came to us as maybe 25 separate components. Sometimes we'll be working on a piece for weeks before even we see it finally assembled. And when we all saw Lara, we were awestruck. She exceeded our expectations. People were coming from all over the workshop to have a look at it. It was really exciting. The scale of it, the audacity of it, was a crowd drawer in the workshop. I do feel Pretty proud <laughs> um, the sculpt and um, the paint job is amazing. I love the contrast between the raptors and the tree trunk and I thought one of the difficult things would have been to get her makeup and skin tone correct and when I first saw that I was like, yep, spot on, that's awesome. No matter what angle you view from, there's some tension, there's some action, there's something visually intense and exciting happening. It was really impressive just to see the whole thing all together. It's just mind-blowing, really. I think the fans are going to love it. You know, it rules the table. It's going to rule your shelf. It's a showstopper. Gary has done a truly beautiful sculpture. And then the team around him that have brought it to life through the casting, the moulding, the painting, have really outdone themselves with this piece. I really hope the fans think this embodies the anniversary Lara, and I hope it's got the feel of the Tomb Raider. <laughs>